guys <laughs> my gosh i can't even start this video i am going to take a pregnancy test i am so nervous i'm whispering because my husband is home i just can't wait for him to go to work tonight without taking this because i just need to know already okay so i'm gonna go take this and i'll be right back for the dye to start running through there it goes so i'm just going to put i'm just going to put this over it and then i'm going to put a timer for three minutes i am so freaking nervous strong that line is. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and take this digital then. strive to make us girls happy. You've given me everything I could ever want in life. A beautiful home, a beautiful marriage, and a beautiful life. And two beautiful children. We've had our ups and downs, but through it all, you've held my hand, and we always grow stronger together. You're an amazing husband and father. You lift me up and bring so much joy to my life. Just when I think our life couldn't get any better, something unexpected comes along. You're pregnant! Why are you wrap it up so tight? <laughs> How come this? Oh yeah, you see your heart. I told you. Crazy lady. <laughs> Why are you nervous? You scared? Not happy. Okay. I'll never worry about that. We're having a baby. You ready to see the little baby? Way I'll get like an estimate of a due date and all that stuff because we've known I've been expecting for a while now and we literally have no answers. Is there on See the baby? Mm-hmm. Called it. Oh my gosh, guys, that was so exciting. The little 
baby was moving around and there was feet and legs and everything and I have pictures. So this one is the baby's heartbeat. So you guys probably can't see that but the little baby's up here. Baby's foot. I don't know if you guys can see that but it's so cute. Like you can actually see like little toes. That's our little love right there. Oh my goodness, so cute. There's the ultrasound pictures. Oh, look at the baby. Again, the baby was kicking around like crazy, so she couldn't get perfect pictures, but oh, they're just, they're so cute. The baby is growing, which is such a relief because I was so, worried as far as my bleeding i am not bleeding anymore i haven't been bleeding well i didn't bleed all day yesterday i haven't been bleeding all day today it's a relief i'm hoping it stays away fingers crossed toes crossed i feel good i'm not cramping or anything anymore so i just feel i'm feeling good <laughs> was for today was for like genetic testing so doctor kind of just looked at us and said we need to talk so do you want to get dressed and I can come back or do you want me to just talk now and he said we need to talk that's when I knew something was wrong on our baby school there was it wasn't completely bright white all the way around there was like a black gap in the front of our baby's head so he left the room and immediately i broke down crying we came to the decision that it would be better to know as soon as possible so we told the doctor that we wanted to do the cbs procedure how i thought this date was gonna go i thought they were just gonna you know do the ultrasound and be like okay you're you're ready to go like your test came back great it's just scary because the doctor explained to us that if it is what he suspects it is, terminating the pregnancy would be an option. Little baby, 12 weeks and 5 days. <laughs> and this picture right here is really funny because, so here's the baby. And the baby's sticking out his tongue right here. <laughs> oh, that's the baby's tongue right there. And the baby was clapping too, but we didn't get a picture of that. It's a cephalic disorder in which the or brain, so it's the front of the brain, it fails to develop into two hemispheres. So normally the forebrain is formed and the face begins to develop in the fifth and sixth weeks of human pregnancy. The condition can be either mild or severe. In most cases, it's not compatible with life. It also can cause defects in the baby's facial structure. I put a needle inside my uterus, which basically gave me a giant contraction because the uterus is a muscle and they're poking it with a needle. So it was. I wouldn't say it was like extremely painful where I was like screaming, but it was, it definitely hurt. And they pulled out some samples of the placenta. And what they're going to do with that sample is they're going to look at all of the baby's chromosomes to see if the baby's missing chromosomes, the baby has extra chromosomes. Basically, they're just going to look at the sample and pinpoint what's going on with the baby. I just really want to share my story. I really want to share my baby story in hopes that other mothers who may be going through a similar situation or other mothers who have been in my shoes just find comfort in knowing they're not alone. It's okay to be sad and it's okay to also be strong during this time and just I just want other mothers to know they're not alone. And it's so comforting for me to know that I'm not alone during this time. These are the pictures that were taken by our specialist so that's the side view of our baby okay. 
So another 3D one there. <laughs> Our baby kept covering its face. So another one there. So this one is a picture of our baby's head. This right here is our baby's brain. It's our baby's whole head right there. This is the front of our baby's head. So as you guys can see, it doesn't look like the brain split. There's also this big black gap. So it's clearly visible on our baby's ultrasound. This is our baby's face. Again, when these were taken, our baby was about like 12 weeks, so it's kind of hard to see facial features. But our specialist did say it looked like our baby has a cleft and an absent nose. Morning of March 5th, the doctor called me. Our baby has allobar holoprocephaly. With holoprocephaly, there are four different forms of it. Our baby has the worst one. Our baby also has trisomy 13. Baby has an extra 13 chromosome. Babies born with trisomy 13 often have a low birth weight, even if they are not born before their due date. They usually have brain structure problems which can affect their facial development as well. A baby with trisomy 13 may have eyes set close together and an underdeveloped nose or nostrils. Other birth defects can be clenched hands, cleft lip or palate, extra fingers or toes, hernias, kidney, wrist or scalp problems, low set ears. More than 80% don't survive more than a few weeks. It's a miracle. If I do make it to my due date, the baby will either be born stillborn or I'll possibly have a few hours with my baby. Despite all of this information, I want to celebrate this baby and I know that's confusing to some of you, but despite all of that, me and my husband in our hearts, we want to celebrate this baby. I want to celebrate my pregnancy. I want to carry this baby for as long as I can. Hopefully it's long enough to the point where I can meet this baby. <laughs> One strong heartbeat. Today is our gender reveal and name reveal. I'm so excited to finally officially share this baby with you guys. Here's a little bean. So it's definitely growing. And I'm just, I'm so thankful for another week with this little one. You set my world on fire.
right here and she has all of her fingers in. I got a bunch of different pictures of her profile. I think these two bottom pictures are my favorite pictures of her so far. Here is Everly. There she is. So she's definitely growing. So you can definitely see the bump. I think I'm finally starting to look pregnant and not like I just ate a whole bunch of burritos. We had that heart appointment for Everly on April 9th. We still don't know exactly which heart defect she has, but she does have a heart defect. Everly has a hole right smack in the middle of her heart. I'm 21 weeks and a few days. So I'll be 22 weeks on Friday. So here's the belly. It's definitely getting big. 22 weeks pregnant. We're taking the girls to Build-A-Bear. So I thought it would be really, really sweet to try to capture Everly's heartbeat on my phone and then take it into Build-A-Bear today and possibly get it recorded on a heart and then get the heart put into a bear so that way the girls always have Everly with them. She is guys there's Everly so so sweet she is growing it's a big belly it's a 24 week belly 24 week belly yeah and this is 24 weeks in there there she is yeah it sounds like she's look Like she's riding a horse in there. Oh. I'm 25 weeks and like three days, I believe, something like that. So here is Everly. She's definitely getting super big. She's definitely growing. So that's what the front looks like. So yeah, 25 weeks. Hold it. You can see. Hold on. There you go. That's the heart. That's the baby boy. And the head's, right now it's in the breech presentation. 28 week bump update, so this is what the belly looks like. As you guys can see, she's definitely getting like really big. It's so crazy, 28 weeks, my goodness. Never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in old conversations. Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you. You're making me want to try forever And I feel so free Oh my sweet baby How many smiles does it take to be happy? How many times do you have to feel lonely Before you get the chance to meet someone Before you get to meet someone like you 
How many songs can you write about heartbreak? How to go on when you're fed up with mistakes? Maybe I just found the answers. Maybe I just found the answers in you. I am 29 weeks pregnant with Everly, but oh my goodness, it's just, it's a blessing saying I'm 29 weeks. I had a specialist appointment today for Everly. She has a bilateral cleft lip and palate midline inside. Look at her stomach. Her stomach is on the small side. Look at her head. Her head is on the small side. You look at her kidneys. She said her kidneys looked a little bit bright, which meant that she has some fluid in her kidneys. And then he looked at her hands and he said her hands kind of looked um, turned in. It sounds louder. The baby is facing the other way, then it seems more distant. Looks good there, and that's good fluid levels in here. That's what we look for. There's Everly. My belly looks so huge, which is so crazy because this little girl is so tiny in there. They're estimating that she is no more than three pounds. And I'm 37 weeks. Whatever we can see. I'll be able to point out to you. Okay. Now what we're doing is a growth scan. So there's a few areas I'm gonna measure. Now cross section of baby's head. show your face babe. <laughs> <laughs> we've been turning away this whole time but we are like just at an oblique angles <laughs> <laughs> I just got back from my specialist appointment with the high-risk specialist I saw him so I had an ultrasound done as you guys saw so they measured like all of Everly's bones and they just like took a whole bunch of weight measurements at this point he strongly recommends that I be induced and I have Everly because he said at this point since she's so tiny and she's not growing anymore that it can cause stress on her body so he strongly recommends that I be induced <music> So, Everly's coming tomorrow. <laughs> Having a baby tomorrow. So, 
I am being induced tomorrow, which is <laughs> August 16th. 16th. Keep us in your prayers, and thank you for all the support you by, you guys have been giving us. You know, we really appreciate all of you guys. <laughs> yeah, she does. She has like a full head of hair, just like the girls. Oh, poor little babes. Mommy and Daddy love you so much. Okay. <laughs> you go be with all the little angels. <laughs> 